let's draw a small GSM network and uh, then we'll illustrate we'll go through each one one by one and then we'll so very quickly we'll we're gonna draw this simple network GSM network this is BTS we will have EIR, Equipment Identity Register, and here is VLR. It's a simple uh, GSM 2G network and we'll go one by one. This is a mobile equipment. It has something called as Subscriber Identity Module, which is called a SIM. So let's go one by one and uh, describe the architecture or describe the network elements in the architecture so let's go with mobile equipment now what are the functions of a mobile equipment we'll look into the functions or what mobile equipment has or what it does We'll look into it in a second. It's responsible for voice encoding and transmission. Voice encoding and transmission. Okay. And then it's responsible for frequency and time synchronization of the channels. So frequency and time synchronization of the channels so that means it uh, mobile equipment the the mobile which we call the cell phone uh, is responsible for attuning to the right frequency and syncing itself for the right time slot it's also responsible for voice encryption decryption encryption decryption okay let's go uh, it's uh, it is also responsible for measuring the power from ages and ages in cells this function is responsible for handoff so if the mobile feels that there's a greater power from an ages in cell it's gonna request a handoff Okay, mobile equipment. It stores IMEI, which is a short form of International Mobile Equipment Identifier, which is uh, inscribed in the mobile equipment by the manufacturer for security reasons. So we just saw, you know, what are the functions of a mobile equipment, which we call as a cell phone. Now let's look at the small sim that it has what is the function of a small sim that it has right let's look at that real quick number two subscriber identity module let's go with the same color okay this is a portable smart card with a little memory portable smart card with a little memory this is 2.1 this is 2.2 it stores some permanent data one of the permanent data it stores is MC international mobile subscriber identity for that particular mobile handset and subscriber this is the subscriber information to make a voice call and it also stores P I M S I PIMC for a packet or data call. It stores the authentication parameter called the KI, which is 128 bit. This is required to be stored in the mobile equipment. 
for authorizing authentication authentication of mobile by the network uh, it stores the authentication algorithm a3 and the ciphering algorithm a8 uh, it also stores the encryption key which is the KC some of the temporary data that it stores is TMSI temporary mobile subscriber identity LAI location area identity or RAI routing area identification for packet this is for packet okay so we just saw what uh, a sim stores let's move on to the BTS do we have space is what I'm concerned about let's make some space here it's called this is called the base transceiver system or station it's called the base transceiver station which is right here we're going to talk about right now in case you're wondering wrong color this handles the radio interface the radio interface Uh, it receives data transcoding data transcoding it is responsible for voice encryption decryption as we saw the mobile is responsible for voice uh, mobile equipment is responsible for voice encryption decryption as well so when the voice is encrypted decrypted here it has to have a counterpart here for for it to be you know uh, decrypted back to its normal where it's processed again it's responsible for uplink radio ch radio channel power me measurement uplink radio channel power measurement All right, awesome. Now, now let's look at the BSC, which is right here, and uh, how are we gonna do that? Let's. I think we can use this space efficiently. Efficient utilization of space. BS base station controller is what BSC is called it provides all control functions and physical links between the B between the MSC and the BTS so control functions plus physical link between the BTS and the MSC and vice versa This is responsible for monitoring, monitoring and controlling the BTS. Monitor plus CTRL BTS. It is also responsible for management of channels on the radio inter interface. Manage radio channels. So what that means is it uh, in cases of handovers in cases of channel assignment to the mobile equipment this is what this the decision the control the intelligence is in the BSC where it tells the BTS to assign radio traffic or radio channel to the mobile so that's why it's called you know that, that's why this is the the, the uh, brain of uh, a BSS base substation uh, system this is what I when I when I say BSS this is what I'm talking about. BSS is this. These two entities together is called the BSS. So this BSC is a control function of, you know, basically it controls the BTS and also radio resources. Um, it's responsible for 
switching from the ABIS interface, which is here, to the A interface here. So, switching from ABIS to A interface, right? Awesome. Now, we're going to look at the MSC mobile switching center and for that we need some space so I'm actually rubbing the functions of ME just in case you know you have not noted it down you can go back to the video and see it for yourself okay we're good to go so let's look at MSC mobile switching center so switching means so it's it's responsible for switching the calls from PL1 PLNM PLMN to PSTN and PSTN to PLMN PL so that's one function the second function is handover function handover means that's inter BSC handover handover means mobile moves from one location to the other location and wants to attach itself to another BSC, MSC is the one who takes the decision of handling, handing over and allocating uh, radio resources, resources from the new BSC and deallocating resources from this current BSC. The third function is, uh, it is an interface to the PSD and network like we already talked about. And then uh, it's responsible for paging for uh, incoming call to the mobile and it's also responsible for billing so basically this is the heart of the this is the heart of the uh, NSS network switching subsystem which is this you can call this whole thing as NSS and this whole guy this guy BTS and BSC is called the base station subsystem so let's now look at the home location register which is this guy out here right so let's see home location register this guy stores the subscriber information any any subscriber who subs which subscribes to a GSM service uh, you know his or her information has to be stored somewhere so this is the guy who does that Let's see what it stores. The international mobile subscriber identity, the first piece of information it stores. The second is the MSISDN number, which is the cellular number of the subscriber is stored in the HLR. HLR is the home location register of, of the mobile when the when person first, first, for the first time buys a cell phone, or a mobile you know he, it switches on the cell phone or mobile and that's when you know all the subscriber data all that is stored in the HLR and that's why it's called the home location register that means that HLR is the, is the home of all the subscriber information which is registered in that area in that geographical area in that location it also stores a VLR address. We'll talk about what VLR is. VLR is Vista Locator Location Register. We'll talk about it a little later. Uh, it stores all the subscription information. So all the services that the mobile has. All you know what kind of subscription it has. Does it have text messaging, SMS, uh, internet, whatever? It also stores the reference to authentication center for getting the key KI which is the authorization key and uh, HLR is uh, referred to or it's called upon when a call comes from public to the you know public public landline landline to the cellular network to the mobile network that's when the MSC calls the HLR for information so this is a little bit about this guy HLR